Hi, I'm Dylan from Velocity Tech Solutions. Today we're going to be going over replacing a motherboard in the DL380 Generation 5 server. First of all, we're going to open up the case. Alright, first thing we're going to do is remove this shroud. You're going to have to move these wires that are leading to your RAID card out of the way. Pull those lift right out. Side. Next, we're going to remove the two cages here and here. There are two screws holding this one. Just unscrew them and kind of wiggle it up a bit. I'm going to do the same with this. Again, just lift it out. Next, we're going to remove your RAID card. Keep in mind which cable goes to which slot. An easy way to tell also if you do forget, one is a bit longer. It should connect to the proper cable. Alright. Remove your memory. DRM. And your process. Just lift out the heatsink. Lift this little tab. Pull it out and just drop it again. We should be set. Lastly, we are going to unhook these three front panel connectors. And then we should unscrew this thumb screw right here, pull back, and up and out. Sometimes you can get caught a little bit on the tape. So looking at our replacement board, we're going to simply line up the back panel. Make sure that the front cables are not going under the board. That can happen. We push it down. It should secure into the little locking clamps. Push forward. And screw this thumb screw back down and it should secure into place. Next we'll reattach these little front panel connectors. It can be a little tricky given that there's not all that much space. Right, let's get it in and push it down. Alright, next step we are going to re-add your components. First, we're going to put back in the processor. Again, lift up the tab, lift the cover. You'll want to match the little tab in here with the little part right here you should notice it comes out a little bit. So we get it in. It should just fall into place. Lock it down like that. And lastly with the heat sink you will notice there are two little holes that will correspond with these. Simply drop it on and that locks into place. Roll again we put back in our components. Come back to memory. And our cages. With the cages, you'll want to line up. There are going to be little metal brackets that line up here and here. Get that. To drop directly in and to tighten these down. I'll use my screwdriver. We'll do the same with this. You'll notice again the little metal ridge goes in there and also right here there is one as well. So it should just slide directly into place. You should hear it kind of snap a bit. That. Last thing, we are going to re-put in our RAID card. So we put that there. We again grab these two SAS cables. Can't forget about the shroud. We place the battery from the RAID inside the little compartment. And you'll want to kind of 
There should be little directors for the cables. We'll want to just kind of get them in there so they at least secure and are kind of out of the way. And if you had forgotten which cable goes into where, once again, it's going to be a slight length difference. The longer one will go inside of the back and the shorter one in the front. So make sure that the cords are down to allow the cover to close. And assuming all your other hardware is correct, close it up, boot it up, and it should be all set to go as it had been prior to failure.